Okay, today we're going to do a demonstration of a shooting cylindrical grinder that's uh, Swiss. Uh, this is a model 310. Uh, the dimensions on this machine, this particular machine, has an additional set of riser, factory made riser blocks that give you a total swing of 12 inches. Uh, normally it would be 8. Uh, so the wheel slide here has been raised with a special block as well as the tailstock and the workhead and the accessories such as this dresser. This is a uh, dresser that you can put down and use a micrometer adjustment to take a certain amount off your wheel and then compensate here for dress compensation. We call a swing back dresser, that's an accessory. There's also a 7 inch magnetic chuck on here. I'm going to go ahead and start it now. Uh, it's a hydraulic pump. That's the hydraulic. There's also the grinding wheel. Uh, I just happened to have the machine completely set up, so uh, just quickly I can show you an automatic cycle if you already had a job. It's all proven, you just hit that one button, slide moves in, the table starts to traverse, and your in feed. The amount of this infeed is controlled by a, a valve here. The speed of the table is controlled by a valve here. There's a left and a right well that you can adjust here. And these are your plunge feeds. There's a coarse and a fine plunge feed. If you want to do a plunge feed, you'll shut the table off. And we'll open up our feed right here. This will just be a continuous feed down to zero. There's a little dot just before zero that you set for your fine feed, and you can set what you want your fine feed to be. And when it gets to the zero, there's a spark out timer, and it retracts back. You stop the fruit amount, plus the wheel slide moves back, and the work head stop. So you throw First notch here starts your work turning. Second brings the cross slide in about two inches. And the third starts the automatic. You also have a swing down ID grinding attachment. Uh, you have to remove the tail stock. You've got a high, set of hide behind scales on the table and on the cross slide. Uh, a taper indicator here for, for your for table taper at the indicator. There's also a fixed stop. You can, you can use this mechanism here to, to, to lock the table in a certain position for plunge grinding or to come up against the shoulder. Uh, there's a, it's easy to have that feature. There's also a fine feed here on your, make it a fine adjustment. The part's not to the right size. Uh, around the back of the machine is the coolant. Comes right out of the back of the machine, out this trowel down into here on top of some paper. Uh, when the paper clogs up, this automatically advances to clean paper. And uh, that keeps functioning like that. Also a splash card that you would put on here when you were grinding. And that's about it. 